Yo, what's going on guys? Blue here coming at you with another EGA 2K21 video. Um, this time we're going to be talking about the competitive ban. So you want to be a competitive PGA player. And by competitive, I mean um, not just somebody who wants to do well, because <laughs> we're all competitive in golf. Um, what I'm talking about is this is the kind of bag you would see at the higher levels of TGP players. Um, and with today's announcement, I think there's no better time to come out with this video. Um, we have our first two officially organized, our esports org signed um, individuals in the PGA community. Um, congrats uh, to uh, the Lazarus uh, crew, uh, Lazarus Hemo and Lazarus Sloaner, as they're going to be known now. Um, Hemo jumping on board as a golf consultant slash broadcaster slash content guy. And Sloaner being the first uh, signed pro player. Um, so that's really exciting stuff. So I think there's no better time than now than to just release a golf bag video. This is my competitive golf bag video for the TGC Tours. Um, so might not be one for everybody, but I'll explain why I use these things. And the difference between my last two videos, which is obviously catered towards fixing a particular swing issue. Um, for those who don't want to play the perfect, you could play the fast. Look at the fast video. For those of you who can't, or want to play perfect and have a harder time, you can look at the perfect bag. This is for the player that can do whatever they want, whenever they want. Um, you want to hit a fast, you hit a fast. You want to hit a perfect, you hit a perfect. You have really good uh, swing playing control. You have really good tempo control. So let's look into the bag and let's let's go through it and I'll, I'll explain to you why I have whatever clubs I have. Um, obviously, the, the most important thing, again, is all the distancing has to be pretty good. Um, so we'll take a look at this. Uh, first, first and foremost, the driver. I just use the new Titleist driver. Um, I don't use the 11 degree version. I try and keep it down out of the wind a little bit. And the reason why I use this one over the Bridgestone, if you can, is that this one gives you half a degree less for the same amount of yardage. Therefore, <clears throat> a little less um, wind uh, effect on the on your driver, which is great. We, we, you can put the drive where you want to put the drive. That's the most important part of the of the game. Um, if you don't have uh, the season pass to unlock, just use the um, Bridgestone Tour Driver, which is the one uh, that we all used before this one came out. Um, and then I use the uh, Titleist three wood uh, for myself. I mean, two reasons I use the Titleist three wood. For one, I um, I enjoy having my driver and my three wood being of the same uh, brand and company. I like Titleist myself, um, but I use I use this one. Uh, it offers just a little bit more forgiveness and a little bit more shot shaping at, at a five yard loss over the Bridgestone. If you don't have this one unlocked, just uh, it's not a big deal. Um, um, then we go on to the, 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 the makeup of the bag from the irons down. Now you'll notice something uh, in on the right hand side here. You'll notice I don't carry a nine iron. I do not play a nine iron in my competitive bag. Reason I don't play a nine iron in my competitive bag is to give myself some rescue up at the top and I'll explain um, I use a three iron instead of a nine iron so what you do is you, you you click out of your nine iron and you add this HB Pro you know you click on the nine iron and then you go and you add the HB Pro TGC Tours um, zero sum club right here uh, this one right here so the TGC uh, TGC Tours TGC zero sum 950 uh, club that's how you replace the 9-iron with the 3-iron. Um, and I use that for two reasons. Uh, for one, I need a club that hits about 215 yards. And rather than using a hybrid, which would be way more forgiving at long distance, I use the 3-iron because it can get me out of trouble if I hit my drive on a par 5, say, in the rough. Or I have a long shot out of the rough. The 3-iron will give you way more forgiveness on your shot and will give you a better percentage coming out of the rough and will help you on more shots. Maybe it's two shots, three shots around. But when you're playing competitive, you need those three shots. So the three iron is there almost as a rescue club out of the rough. I very rarely have to use it out of the fairway. I will, I'll have my 200-yard uh, club out of the fairway. But if I need the extra distance and I need to use it out of the fairway, I can. I can also, with a three iron, so when you fast, red fast a shot tempo, um, with an iron, you actually gain distance. Whereas with a wood or a hybrid or a driver, you do not gain distance on a red fast. 
but you do gain distance. It's like an overpower when you're doing it with an iron. So if I need to close the gap between my three wood and my three iron, or which which, which on my other bags would have been a hybrid, um, I can do that by doing a fast shot, right? So I'm able to close my gap. And in competitive, that's great. If I have a 225 yard shot, I can either choose to partial my three wood or I could choose to fast my three iron and I can make up the gap or I can make up the, um, or I can reduce the gap and, and, and make up the gap for the shot that I need. So that's why I have this at the, at the higher end. And the same thing goes for if I need to take this 215 and I need to shoot at 210, then I can do that with either lofting or de-lofting my hybrid slightly or um, putting a little bit of loft on my three iron or partially my three iron. So it gives you more versatility and in a competitive setting, that's what you need. So that's why I use uh, the three iron bag in my bag and I remove my nine iron for that. Um, I make up for it in my wedges and you'll see that in a bit. Then we have where I would normally have a four iron distance. I actually use a hybrid here. Um, this one you'll hit way more often out of the uh, fairway. And if you look at the difference between um, the two clubs when it comes to forgiveness and shot shaping, you get way more forgiveness, way more shot shaping, way more distance control um, out of the out of the hybrid than you do out of an iron. So this shot for a nice long shot that you need to get close to the hole at 200 yards is a beautiful, beautiful club. Um, there's really nothing, nothing, uh, nothing better than 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 a nice than a nice hybrid at this distance, in my opinion. Um, if you do not have the gold stuff unlocked because you haven't played the career mode and you haven't unlocked that stuff. You can use any of the other golds are basically the same as this one. Uh, you're using the four or five. You're using the one that's closest to uh, the 200 yard mark. So like the Bridgestone, you can use a little less forgiving, of course. So keep an eye on that. Or you can use any of the uh, gold or orange, if you will, um, standard clubs that come with the game that you just have to purchase they're already there for you to unlock you just have to use your coins and unlock them um the hps enterprise xdz is the exact same as the as the as the gold sim max i use the gold sim max to use <clears throat> to use some of the um some of the brand name stuff available in the game um but there are other options for you there then i just use the most forgiving clubs in the game and that is the um the bridgestone um Tour B JGR HF2s. They're the most forgiving iron in the game. So I use that from four iron down, and you'll notice the four iron. So I have a 20 yard gap between my four iron and my four hybrid, and I have about a 15 to 16 yard gap between my four hybrid and my three iron. This gap can be made up with um, I can fast this four iron if I need to. I can de loft and fast this four iron, and I can make up the gap to 200 quite easily. Um, with a little bit of with a little bit of magic, if you will. So if you do end you find yourself uh, in a situation where you're kind of between these two clubs, there are options. You can de-loft, you can loft up the, uh, you can partial the hybrid with a little bit of loft to reduce the amount of rollout you get. There's a lot of things you can do here. Of course, as competitive players, you should know how to make up these shots and you should know how to make up these distances. But I think this gap here is 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 a perfect gap. Then you'll notice I have about nine, ten yard gap between all of my clubs going down. So four iron, five iron. I use the same set all the way down to my uh, eight iron. Um, no nine yard difference here. Eleven yard difference or nine yard difference here. Uh, eight yard difference here, and then eleven yard difference on the um, eight iron to the seven iron. So I always step down those ten gaps. That will make it so that you have to do less shot shape, less that stuff, so that you can hit the perfect if you need to hit the perfect and and dart the ball right next to the pin on any of your approach shots. Um, and then I, I kind of mix up uh, the wedges a little bit. Now I use, of course, another unlockable wedge. These are the new um, the new uh, wedges from um, from the uh, the Club Pass Two, a Clubhouse Pass Two, which is the the Titleist wedges. Um, so I use these for gap preservation because I took away my nine iron. I have to close the gap on my eight iron, and I give myself a twelve yard gap which is really not bad at all um, from my eight iron to my wedge. So my wedge now hits my pitching wedge now hits 130. <clears throat> and then I use a 52 degree um, gap wedge for the uh, to, to keep the gap here about that 12, 13 yards here. 
Then we have a little bit more of a gap on the sand wedge. You got a 16 yard gap here. You can choose to make it higher or lower. I keep it like this for my for for my approach, uh, my uh, my chips and my my uh, pitches around the green. I like I like these two. They're a little bit more on the on the forgiving side. Um, so I'm able to I'm able to control these down there. And if I wanted to, I could just easily loft this tight list um, or easily loft up this tight list or de-loft this sandwich a little bit to make up that gap. I can get this sandwich to hit 110 yards, no problem. I can get this um, tight list to hit 110 yards, no problem. So there really is no gap here. The gap between wedges is really non-consequential. And then I have this, I use my Mizuno putter um, here. If you don't have the gold clubs unlocked, you can use, or, or the gold uh, club has clubs unlocked, the Titleist SM8s. You can use any of the other gold wedges. They'll be just about good enough. Just make sure that you have, the, that they offer the right degree. Like this one only has one choice on the degree. So this one would make your gap between your eight and your uh, wedge a little bit more. But it's still very usable. Or you can go with any of the orange um, orange clubs that the game uh, originally comes out with that you just have to buy with coins and unlocked. So this one here again, 127 yards. So the gap is just a little bit more between your eight and your wedge, um, and so uh, and, and so you'll have to just manage that a little bit better. So for me, I have I have the clubhouse pass unlocked, the clubhouse pass two unlocked. I use these gold ones here, um, and that's it, guys. So that's my competitive bag with the huge announcement coming out um, that uh, there's an organization out there that have signed some people. Um, we already have TGC tours, which I'll be making some videos about, uh, probably released after this weekend. Um, they'll, uh, that'll explain to you how to sign up to the TGC tours, uh, where to find uh, certain information, how to read the, um, the, the, the weather report and all that good stuff. So, um, those, those videos are, are almost done and prepped and, um, and, and will be out. And we're now with that announcement going to see probably more competitive play, right? Because if orgs are starting to get interested in PTA, that means we're going to see uh, some competitive tournaments come out of somewhere. So I wanted to get this video out as a competitive bag. I think today's the best day of any to do this. Um, again, if you like it, leave a like. If you don't like it, dislike. I don't mind. Um, if you if you want to ask questions or you want comments on this or you, have a, you think you have a good bag that you want to share with the community, go ahead and write it down below. Uh, if I like your bag enough, maybe I'll feature it and I'll do a video of it and, and tag you in it. Um, and make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell thing so that you can uh, you can get my rest of my uh, my notifications and stuff. All right, guys. So until the next time, Blue, I'm out. Have fun in competition, man. Peace.